What's up, family? This is your ghetto news reporter, Mary Lou Dash between the Mary Lee. Fuck that official shit. You understand what I'm saying? Because ain't nothing official about me. I'm in the hood. Today is August 1st to Thursday, the 13th, 2020. Officials get paid big bucks and stuff to uh, do whatever they do. And because I don't get shit for whatever I do, which is everything, you know, us Negroes and stuff, we got 10 jobs and shit. And we don't get shit for none of them. Um, I got through watching this video with the, uh, talking about the COVID-19 virus update that Donald Trump and everybody is trying to force on, you know, about 2 billion people or whatever and stuff. It hasn't really been, uh, what would you call, uh, examined to be safe or whatever and stuff. They claim in a short period of time they have, you know, said it's okay, you know, but back in the day, they said it used to take about eight years to make sure something was, you know, not hazardous to our health or whatever. Now, in 2016, while at an AA meeting at the must seat in my city, Chicago, you know, I was accused of being a person that trespassed, you know, accused of trespassing. Imagine that an AA meeting open to the public. Alcohol is anonymous. You understand what I'm saying? Not only that, I'm, you know, the reason why AA generated so much money, just like Malcolm X and Farrakhan and Khalid Abdul Muhammad, you know, was the reason why the Nation of Islam accumulated so much money. But their um, name is not on the marquee. It's my name, Maj Maryam. You understand what I'm saying? Because I am the grassroots, if that's what you want to call this of all the stuff that's going on that allow people to come up in my, you know, world, America, or the United States, or, you know, Africa, wherever you're from. Because a lot of people came from all around the world once they heard, you know, there was money to be made in America, and they signed off as a white person or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? A person of white. You understand what I'm saying? Color. Now, I'm not the best words to speak or whatever and stuff and because you know they made it that way by uh depriving me of a real education because i had to always fend for myself because i am the originator of rap and they knew they was gonna build their empires and they fortune 500 companies off of my people blood sweat and tears but more so than anybody me you understand what I'm saying? Because even a lot of my people sold me out thinking that, it, you know, they would sacrifice me and continue on or whatever and stuff. But, but because my higher power loved me so much, you know, I was able to peep game because I am, you know, an American, a Native American mixed with a whole bunch of other stuff. I like to say I'm a little bit of this and I'm a little bit of that. And the rest came from people like you. That's my shit, too. You understand what I'm saying? Now, with that said. They are trying to uh, eliminate about 2 billion people, you know, and I believe those 2 billion would have been Mary McAmira's because I've been on the front line ever since I was six years old, you know, after being a child abuse victim and then placed in the um, Sunday, Chicago Sun-Times newspaper back in 1973. And I believe that was just to let everybody know this is who we're going to railroad and use and abuse. And then once we get what we want, you know, we got what we wanted, beat it. You understand what I'm saying? And try to kill me. You understand what I'm saying? Like they have been trying to do. You know, I've been poisoned six times. I have to reiterate this for the new people who don't know who I am. Just in case this video gets out, which they are trying not to, you know, you know, make my presence relevant or whatever. So I have to leave my trap house where I'm at in Chicago and go outside and do things so people can see, you know, I have to do a whole lot of stuff in order to stay relevant. And even though people know who I am because I've been in these streets selling general merchandise for a long time, basically ever since I was a brownie in the Girl Scout or whatever. But even back then, I knew to keep the money or eat the cookies or do both. You understand what I'm saying? Because I'm not a hope. You know, I'm an independent person. You understand what I'm saying? And how they are stripping away our independence, Native Americans or whatever and stuff after they use us up, and especially rappers and stuff. And that's why everything is being dumbed down and all of that stuff. But back to the COVID-19, you know, so-called, you know, 
cures or treatments or whatever and stuff. Shots that they want to kill us off with. You understand what I'm saying? Basically, they saying, you know, if we don't take them, you know, we won't be able to go travel. We won't be able to go in stores and this, that, and whatever and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I find that very offensive and stuff because we have lived through crack cocaine, AIDS, all kind of stuff, herpes that I got from a white person when I was in my 20s. You understand what I'm saying? You know, we, we've um, been through all kind of drugs and, you know, my people have been through a lot. We are very resilient and that's the part they don't like. So now, you know, like I was saying in 2016, I got railroaded at an AA meeting. And they took me to the police station on Mother's Day, May 8th, had me sleeping on the floor. You understand what I'm saying? Disrespectful for trespassing, all because I was staying sober, you know, after the fact that they had made me homeless, you know, May 31st, 2008, basically. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, they can, you know, take me for everything I got. You understand what I'm saying? Or everything I accumulated because they didn't need me anymore. And they, they brainwashed the people with Barack Obama, you know, being the so-called first black president, which he was not. It was people that looked like me, and they were Republicans. You understand what I'm saying? You know, even um, Prince was surprised about a lot of that stuff. And because they work us so hard, we never get a chance to really, you know, educate ourselves. So they say Americans are first in prison and last in education, while they kids get the best education, while we out there surviving and trying to, you know, stay alive or whatever so you know after they after the 2016 you know episode or whatever and stuff they took me you know to cook county jail a lot of people call it crook county jail in my uh, city chicago and they put me on a you know psych ward now if i was gonna go crazy i would have went crazy when they stole everything from me may 31st of 2008 that's the honest of god's truth but they cleared me sane and i was able to stay in public and, you know, with the um, reg regular inmates or whatever and stuff and general population. I didn't go to the psych ward in 2008, but in 2016, while at an AA meeting, homeless and sober, they, you know, charged me with trespass and then put me on a psych ward knowing I was sober and put all kind of diseases in me and stuff. And I've been working my ass off trying to cure myself with, you know, just limes and teas and things of that nature. And I feel about 75% better and because they know I'm in this motherfucker doing about, you know, the 200 push-ups sometimes, you understand what I'm saying? They trying to find a way to finish killing me and my people and stuff, you know, because like I said, we are resilient individuals and stuff and I didn't come here to die, but they thought I would just lay down and die, but I can't do that, you know? So the Nubian queen, you know, people that I was listening to, you know, and this girl by the name of Iman or whatever. I just got through watching a video and they supposed to be having some push for reparations in New York or whatever. You know, this Saturday, you know, I feel as though I'm just promoting people who ain't giving me shit, but you know, no problem. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, yeah, they supposed to have a push for reparations or whatever and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? As if they don't know they owe me for real, for real, and everybody else has gotten paid. They still robbing motherfuckers, goddammit, downtown on the gold course, you know, looting and stuff, and they say that's a form of reparations. But if I would have went down there, I would be in prison for life. You understand what I'm saying? Because I'm not doing the idiot. You understand what I'm saying? The police follow me, and they send little agents after me and shit. I'm on the bus yesterday. This fat guy... Come all the way back there where I'm at. I'm all the way in the back. He about 300 pounds. He want to sit in the middle close to me. It's supposed to be six feet apart. I'm two feet, not even two feet away from him. And I'm about to get off the bus. I said, excuse me, can you just get up so I can get past so I won't bump you and all that and stuff? Oh, he couldn't do that. I asked him three times. I had to climb over the seat just to get away from him because he wouldn't stand up and, you know, move out my way. This is the stuff I go through. So, you know, I can't go to fucking goddamn you know, New York and, you know, help protests or whatever for reparations. I'm having too much trouble in my city, Chicago. So I did stop once I got off the bus at this front row home because there's going to be a lot of dead motherfuckers for fucking with me and shit. Real fucking talk. See, that's like the Cadillac symbol. And I am the originator thought of a drop top Cadillac truck. And, you know, they came up with that design 
because of me. You understand what I'm saying? I'll put it in the description or whatever. Everything that I say, they come, they steal and shit. So I said, I want a T-top drop top Cadillac truck. You understand what I'm saying? And uh, do what that said, do you want to ride in the back seat of a caddy? Because nine times out of ten, that's the only way I'm going to um, get me a Cadillac. Now, I got my license back in the day when I was a teenager in a Cadillac. My neighbor, you know, he allowed me to use his mother car who worked for CTA to um, get my license in a brand new Cadillac. All this is symbolism. All this was designed to, you know, bring me full force to where I'm at now, whatever and stuff. Long story short, I went to pay my bill. This is what I'm really pissed off because I'm on a fixed income and I don't get $1,000 a month. You understand what I'm saying? And I went to pay my phone bill and it cost $53, right? I paid on the first. They slowed my motherfucking goddamn data down so I wouldn't be able to upload this video that I really wanted to upload and stuff. So they told me I had to pay again. I said, okay, I just paid just so I can upload the video. And it was a whole bunch of shit, right? And I still wasn't able to upload the video to like three hours later and they had I, I mean they store calling and calling the police and all that the police never came and stuff a whole lot of drama but in the meantime between time they making money they done made about two thousand dollars off of me you understand what i'm saying and they still didn't give me my 53 dollars back they talking about they gonna use it for the next month and shit i said i didn't already pay for this month and i don't feel comfortable with this service no more or whatever and stuff so basically they taking food out of my mouth now you see this, my birthday is 525. See, 525, May 25th. And all the resources is going to support baby food, diapers, and wipes. Now I don't mind helping the children. You understand what I'm saying? It's a 24-hour fatherhood resource support line. But I don't have no children. And I'm not a father. But they have stolen my eggs when they made me homeless. You understand what I'm saying? And they, you know, treated me like shit. Now, I got railroaded in 2008. They started this program, resource support, baby food, diapers, and all that, wipes, in 2009. So all they do is use real motherfuckers and shit to come up off of and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Now, when they take a food out of my mouth, you understand what I'm saying? To support their children. And I can't support myself. You understand? And the police don't come to my so-called rescue and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? And I know I'm in the right. That lets you know that they're really trying to kill us off and stuff, especially with that COVID-19 shot. You understand what I'm saying? So my people, I don't know what to tell you other than, you know, stay focused, man, for real. Because, and I'm talking about motherfuckers in general, because they try to divide us, but we everywhere. You know, my color, we all around the world. I'm here, there, everywhere, and even your place. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. So Boost Mobile, you know, I hope, you know, you got a kick out of the shit. They even took a video of me being serious about the matter and stuff as if I'm a joke and shit. Now, this little money they give me ain't enough to be harassed, for real. And if I did have, an, you know, enough money, it still wouldn't be enough. You understand what I'm saying? So when people troll me and they send agents, you know, to try to get me to go off or whatever and stuff, it's only going to backfire on you motherfuckers. And these funeral motherfuckers that's opening up, I hope you got enough workers. Because you're going to have so many dead motherfuckers, goddammit. They're going to look like this motherfucker right here. Real talk. Because if you're waiting on me to die, you'll be waiting a long motherfucking time. So, you know, the girl who was doing all the talking, you know, Black Nubian Queen or whatever, and Iman or whatever and stuff, we have to eat. So they, they use us regardless. But long story short... You know, they educated, cool, no problem. Nerds, whatever they are and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? But we're not stupid. Experience is the best teacher. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. You understand what I'm saying? Ain't nobody finna read all them goddamn books. You know you owe, so pay us and shit, for real. Because if not, you understand what I'm saying? It's gonna come back to haunt you. I don't give a fuck how many you try to kill and shit. The spirits never lie, and the ancestors never die. Now you can run that coin. That's my shit. The spirits never lie, and the ancestors never die, okay? That's my shit, too. Now, still that. Run that shit. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, if you're going to vote for anybody, vote for yourself. But nobody else going to give a fuck besides my higher power. And with that, step your game up. This is your ghetto news reporter, Mary Dash 20, Mary in the league. Peace.